Hello everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to go over more with inverse sine, inverse cosine, etc. Uh, in particular, with uh, the composites, the way they are. So as you see here, these are the general domains and ranges that we uh, associate with them. But in particular, when we look at, for example, inverse sine, let me highlight this here, inverse sine, inverse cosine, and inverse tangent, on the outside of this composite, as opposed to on the inside. We're going with our restricted domains. And these refer to different quadrants. And we use that to help us make sure we're in the right quadrants, and that will also help us determine the sign of our overall answer. So let's look at an example. Inverse cosine of cosine of 4 pi over 5. With these now, when you're doing uh, inverses of trig functions, you know, composites of inverses. The main thing we want to check out is this value in here, inside the parentheses, is that in the appropriate domain? So for cosine, looking back here, inverse cosine on the outside means we are restricted to 0 to pi. So from 0 to pi, there are a couple ways of, of looking at that. One, you could say, well, you could look at it purely in a decimal format. 0 to pi is 0, and pi is 3.14. And you can say, does the value of 4 pi over 5, does its decimal fall between 0 and 3.14? And if we check that, so if I say 4 pi divided by 5, that's approximately 2.51. So it does fall in that range. So I know that it's within the range. Another way of looking at it is if you know your unit circle very well, you'll know that pi can adjust to any denominator. So if I'm talking about uh, radians with a denominator of 5, pi then is equivalent to 5 pi over 5. Because just think of it like a fraction. Pi over 1 to get a common denominator of 5, 5 pi over 5. Now, I can tell that 4 pi, over, 4 pi over 5 will be in that range because it's less than 5 pi over 5. So, two ways of looking at this to determine if we're in the right range or in the right interval is my, probably a better way of saying it if you're getting confused about domain and range. If we're in the right interval, so when that's, again, that's the only thing we need to check, really. Since this 4 pi over 5 is in our appropriate interval, then the answer is just 4 pi over 5. Now on to our next one. Sine of inverse sine of negative 2. Now I have a my standard sine on the outside. So looking back. For standard sign, that's right here. That refers to this interval, from negative one to one. That's the domain that we're considering. So, does the value negative two fall between negative one and one? Obviously, it does not. So, again, since it does not fall in that interval, all we have to say is no solution. It's outside of the range, or outside of the interval. Now, inverse tangent of tangent of negative 3 pi over 8. Similarly, look at my, for inverse tangent on the outside, this corresponds to negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So the question is, is negative 3 pi over 8 within the range from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2? So remember, our interval negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, one thing you can think of is purely as a decimal. Negative pi over 2 is approximately negative 1.73. So we want something within this interval, from negative 1.73 to positive 1.73. So as a decimal, negative 3 pi over 8 is approximately negative 1.17. So it's clear that this does fall within the appropriate range. 
So since it's in the range that I want, the answer is just negative 3 pi over 8. And once again, we just need to check to see are these values inside the <coughs> parentheses within the appropriate domain, within the appropriate interval. Lastly, I look at one like this. Now, for cosine, we want to be within the interval from 0 to pi. So from 0 to pi, or we can think of it as 3.14, so is our value of negative 5 pi over 3. Within that n, it would be negative 5.23. So clearly it is not. Now, one of the things to consider is because I have my inverse cosine on the outside, and I'm dealing with radians here, we, we want to consider, is there a reference angle that puts this in the, in, a, in the domain that I want from 0 to pi? So if I consider my graph, since it's negative 5 pi over 3, let's see what that actually puts us. Negative means I go clockwise. So I'm actually going to go this way. It puts me right here. So this is negative 5 pi over 3. And if you're as a decimal, excuse me, as a degree measure, that'd be negative 300. So the, we're actually in quadrant 1. So as a reference angle, this would be pi over 3. So from our rules on reference angles, this is equivalent to saying cosine of pi over 3. And it's positive since we're in the first quadrant. So really, what this is saying is what is the inverse cosine of cosine of pi over 3? Since pi over 3 does fall within our domain, our answer is pi over 3. And again, since it's quadrant 1, we can assume this is positive. So this is another type, some more types of problems, inverses of standard trig functions, and how we can work composites with them.